You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have Laverne back. Hi. From <laughs> Love, Love Life, Life Now, Now Foundation. Foundation. Okay. You got it. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, the word live was floating around in my mind. It but tends to. It has to do with people living. Too. Exactly. And surviving. And surviving, loving life now. Uh, essentially, our organization, as we discussed the last time, is focused on year-round awareness against domestic violence. And the whole idea of getting past that, getting beyond that, and beginning to love you again, love life now, uh, and you know, move on from a traumatic event as, uh, as domestic abuse is. So uh, our organization has been around for about five years, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we essentially just wrapped up our year end, um, our fifth year end, uh, where we hosted a, a ton of events that uh, focused on getting people out, talking about the issue of domestic violence while supporting uh, domestic violence shelters who are the people that do the work on the forefront year in and year out, day in and day out, um, to support uh, domestic violence victims and survivors. Um, so our, our, our events are twofold. Uh, we get folks, as I said, out, um, and we think they're innovative in a way that is not you know, subjecting anyone to, you know, you're a victim, you're a survivor. Because unfortunately, this issue is something that, um, that is still looked upon as a shameful thing. Uh, and not a whole lot of people are talking about it. Um, the, the, the huge statistic uh, surrounding this issue is one in every four women uh, will be abused in their lifetime. So that's myself and three other women. And the problem with that stat is that not everybody is speaking up. So we try to host these events that get mm -hmm. people out. Um, and the three that we did over the past year that we have had for quite some time are our annual betting drive, um, where we ask folks to donate a new twin sheet and or pillow, uh, our white ribbon night gala, which asks more men to speak up on the issue. Too often you hear us as women advocating mm -hmm. for the cause, but when a man is talking to another man, it means that much more. Um, and then our annual walk in heels, which we call our heelathon. <laughs> I, 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 gotta give, I gotta give you credit for that one. That is quite the event. And next year I gotta figure out the date ahead of time so we can Get yes. Some footage of it. We've been yes. Here before, right. And we can also help you promote that as I'd well. I'd love that. Okay. Thank you so so very um, much. I have a white rib. I, I'm a, I'm a pin guy. You're this a pin guy. Pin yes. Right now. But, yes. Um, and I gotta get you. You have? Do you have a white ribbon? We have gotta get you a white ribbon. One. I yeah. have it, but I need a new one. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. The thing I wanted to ask you is, I just went to a um, the Pedro Perez um, Center over Bridgewater State. Okay. You just did three-day workshop. I went to it and one of the things that I was fascinated about was there was one of them that had something to do with domestic violence. Okay. And they talked about this, as you and I know, mm -hmm. this is not a white issue, a black issue. No. This is a uni unfortunately a universal board. issue. Correct. But when you were talking about um, not speaking up, there, were, there, there, I guess there are certain things culturally that I learned mm -hmm. where you don't talk about it. You it, just it's, don't. It's, it doesn't exist. It if doesn't you don't talk exist. about it, it will it, go it away. Exist. Or it'll, so uh, I'm sure you deal with that. Oh, on, on, a, on a number of uh, levels. Um, and not just on a cultural, from a cultural standpoint, um, from an ec uh, economic status standpoint. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I volunteered at Penelope, Penelope's Place Shelter here in Brockton mm -hmm. um, when I just started this work. And uh, as you said, across the board, all types of different women came in to that shelter. Um, and it's not a, um, you know, a, you know, year long stay. It's a three month uh, transitional uh, mm -hmm. uh, emergency shelter. And so, you know, you're, you're meeting women that you would not think would be going through this, mm -hmm. but they are. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll leave it at that. So on a cultural standpoint, on an economic standpoint, uh, from an economic standpoint, it just goes across the board. And so we want to help change the narrative, as many other agencies and awareness arms are doing, uh, to help change the narrative on how people can be part of the solution, how people can get folks just within their circle who are not speaking up, but they suspect are going through domestic violence issues, on the ways that they can help them. Um, not just sit back and say, well, it's not my business, or, um, you know, well, they asked for it. Uh, they deserve it because they're staying in that 
type of relationship. One of the most difficult situations for law enforcement, is yes. it not? I, I took a Citizens Police Academy yep. in Brockton, yep. and the officers that trained us, and we, we went through everything, they told us sometimes the scariest calls of all are not with shooters and not mm -hmm. with terrorists. Correct. But when there's a situation in a family. Correct. And there's a lot of trauma going on. Going right on. there. And they might be at the right wrong I guess the right place in a sense at the wrong, at the time, wrong time. And then it just incendiary. As you've seen in many cases uh, recently and in the past, they are, are very dangerous calls to, um, to answer. You know, you show up and you know the abuser most a lot of times is saying well if i can't have you no one can mm -hmm. and a lot of these instances end up being you know murder suicides mm -hmm. and they don't care who or what is standing in their way and so officers are faced with that plight um, you know again we want to help folks understand that there is help if you're a victim that you can reach out anonymously a lot of the times for victims they don't want to get their abuser in trouble they just want the abuse to stop they want to find the person or help navigate the person that's giving the abuse back to who they were uh, when they first met them the lovey-dovey stage the courting stage mm -hmm. the honeymoon phase um, and so you know a lot of them most times won't even call the police because of that because right. they just want the abuse to stop they want their families to stay together and unfortunately that's the wrong call call because uh, silence hides violence the more you stay silent the more power and control your abuser has. So we urge folks day in and day out to see, it, even as a bystander, if you see something, say something. And that means not jumping in and breaking up a fight or going into some, you know, somebody's house and trying to make the, get the victim safe, but literally getting yourself safe and calling 911. Tell us your number, your contact information. I know you have a Facebook page. We do. We want people to like it. Yes, so tell we us. want folks to like it. We're in the, uh, transitioning to a like page, and we'd love if you could visit us at Love Life Now Foundation. Um, it's at Love Life Now Found, and that's found without the D. So F O U N at the end, all one word. Love Life Now F O U N. Um, and so find us on Facebook and uh, like us to, to stay in the know about the ways that you can help be part of the solution, even if you need, live far away, even if you're not in the state of Brockton, tell your friends about it. And I just can, we're just trying to create awareness year round. We don't want the issue to be in the forefront when something happens on the news surrounding an athlete or you know someone, in, a celebrity in the news. Mm -hmm. We want folks to be in the know beforehand. We think prevention is key. Phone number? 617-803-8357. And that's me directly. You can call me if you want to, t t you know, find out, you know, how do I move next steps in getting my friend help? How mm -hmm. do I move next steps in talking to my friend and relaying about what this issue is doing to her? Um, family member, friend, call me anytime. We're here. And you do this as, as a volunteer and you do this full time as well? Yes. So you're committed. Look, I would just scratch the service. It's yeah. only nine minutes. Absolutely. We're going to have you back before your next big event. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to bring you back before the the, the October homeless brown is bag correct. and care. Is that right. what it's called? Correct. October brown bag 1st. and care. So I'm going to bring you back. Yes. We, we ran out of Domestic time. Violence Awareness Month. We'll be back. Okay. Thanks. Thank Good you, to see Mark. You. Glad Same you're here. here. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.